five amazing portrait lenses. Alright, so we're going to talk about five amazing portrait lenses that I have in my camera bag. Now, a couple of these may surprise you, which is what this is all about. Kind of making, uh, maybe pulling something out that you wouldn't think of. So, let's start with number one. I'm going to start with my longest lens first. It's the 7200 2.8 version 2 Canon lens right here. This lens obviously is a zoom lens, but I like to use it on its longest millimeter, which is the 200, shooting at 2.8. And when I do my high speed syncing or I use ND filters, I can throw out the background. So this makes incredible soft bokeh background images. So I would put this as a must have in your camera bag lens. And I use it for all sorts of different commercial shoots, but when it comes to portraits, this is a go to lens. All right, number two, it's the 85 1.4. IS lens that just recently came out. I have been using this lens a lot lately and it is tack sharp wide open. So that's one of the things that I always look for is at the widest aperture I want to have the kind of a port performance that gives me the res resolution that I need. So this succeeds that by far. So this is a now again it's not a zoom lens so you have to kind of do the old-fashioned zoom which is the back up and move forward but this is a go-to lens right here. Okay number three the 50 millimeter 1.2 oh I like this lens but that's not the lens I'm going to pull out. It's the 50 millimeter millimeter uh, 1.8. This lens is about a hundred and maybe $125. It is a 1.8 which is when you think about it that's pretty that's pretty wide uh, aperture but on a 50 it produces a really beautiful background bokeh especially in a close-up portrait. So if you don't have the money to get a 1.2 I would go with this and don't be embarrassed when this is on your lens because this looks better but you can get some incredible results with this little $125 lens. Number four, the 35 millimeter 1.4 version 2 Canon lens. It's, well, it's actually on my lens doing the video taping. So you can see the beautiful bokeh behind me. That's because it's at 1.4. It gives you a kind of a wide angle yet soft background, you know, look. So for environmental portraits, this is one of those lenses I've been going to a lot lately. And with the high speed syncing capabilities that I have now, or with an ND filter, I can throw that, that aperture up to 1.4 outdoors in full sunlight. Take a look at the 35 1.4 version 2 Canon lens. Number five, this is going to surprise you, but it's the Canon 24 millimeter tilt shift lens, the version two. This lens I bought specifically to photograph my sports edgy portraits that I do. Now, I, the re, one of the reasons why I bought this is because because this is a uh, tilt shift lens, it has a huge circle that it creates and you're in the very center of that lens when you're not tilting and shifting it. And so it is razor sharp from corner to corner. So when I'm doing long, tall athletes, their head at the very top of my frame or their, the frame becomes razor sharp. I love the 24 millimeter angle or focal length and I do use my 24 to 70 2.8 version 2 on occasion or more, more often, but this is the one lens I pull out all the time. I do a lot of ad campaigns shooting portraits with this lens right here. Beautiful. So don't forget 24 millimeter. Great portrait lens. All right, so there's my list. It may not match up with yours, but I am always trying to put out new content and I talk a lot about lenses on the Joel Grimes Academy. I love optics and I think that when you understand optics, it helps you get a better end result. So that is something I think you should explore a little bit more. Below, I have the links to all those lenses and don't forget the joelgrimesacademy.com. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell. And then of course you're always caught up with all my current content.